Welcome to today's video. So I know this intro is going to be kind of weird, but um, I just wanted to kind of do a um, makeup brush declutter because I've come to realize that I have way too many brushes. As you can see, these are just my face brushes and these are my eye brushes here. So although everyone loves having a bunch of makeup brushes, I've come to realize that I don't actually need them. And so I want to just do a real quick like makeup brush declutter. So if you're interested, please keep watching and let's get into the video. These are all of my face brushes here. So I'll kind of just go over each one, talk about whether I use it, if I'm going to keep it, get rid of it and why. And I'll probably tell you just kind of like where I got it and all of that. So I'm going to start with this one right here. This is actually a crown and boxycharm brush right here. I got this in one of my first boxycharm boxes. I'm not sure which one. It was definitely last year. I want to say it was like first or second one I ever got. This brush feels super nice, but every time I, I every time that I did use it, it just kind of made everything seem a little streaky. Um, I haven't reached for it in a while, and so what I kind of want to do with this one is I kind of want to just try it one more time in like a video or something and if i don't like it i do plan to get rid of this one but for now i am going to keep it this next one right here is a real techniques powder brush this is what it looks like and the set that i got it in came with um, a few different ones like we'll go probably go through those next but i actually really really like this brush and i find that i use it a lot for powder it's super soft real techniques has really nice brushes I did just wash this because I actually used it just yesterday. So I am going to be keeping this one for sure. This one right here is a Real Techniques. This is the contour brush. I actually have not used this for contouring but one time. And I don't find that it really did much. So I'm actually going to probably put this in my MUA kit because I haven't used it. And this did come with the set with the powder brush. This right here came in that same set also. This is the buffing brush. This is kind of what it looks like. It's just kind of like a dome brush right here. I used this a couple times and I just find that I don't reach for it, but I actually recently just started doing um, brushes to kind of blend out like concealer and stuff like that in hopes that maybe my concealer won't look as bad. So I think I'm going to keep this one and then try it for that. And if it doesn't work, I'm going to get rid of this one too. This right here is from the BH Cosmetics. I believe this is from the Think Pink set. This is the number one brush. This is basically like a powder brush, but it's a little bit like flatter. I do like this brush. Um, I feel like this is a little too small for powder or anything. Um, obviously that's going to be based on personal preference, but I do really like basically all of my BH cosmetic brushes. So this one I'm, I'm going to keep, but I think I'm going to try and use it more so for like maybe blush or something different. And then if I don't use it, of course, I'll probably just go ahead and get rid of this also. This right here is a Luxie brush. This is the Pro Precision, Pro Precision Tapered Brush. This is the 640. We got this in a BoxyCharm. I really like this brush. It feels really, really nice, but I I don't tend to ever reach for it. Um, I did at one point try and I think I tried to set under my eyes with this brush and it was just a tad bit too big. This was supposed to be for like highlighting or something and I just don't see it. It's, it's way too big for me to highlight with. I don't even know what else I could possibly use it for except maybe blush and even then I'm just kind of like I have my my blush brushes specifically one I prefer which is a staple brush which is what or a stipple brush which is what I'll go over here in a little bit so as much as I hate to say it I, I think I'm actually going to put this in my MUA kit or or get rid of it because I just don't find I don't really find a use for it at all so this right here is the crown brush I also got this in boxycharm uh, this is supposed to be a blush brush. A lot of people had said that they didn't like it for blush. I thought that it did okay. It is a tad bit too dense, which for me ends up putting a little too much product down at once. So I don't hate this brush, but it's definitely not my favorite. 
So I actually think I'm gonna go ahead and just toss this too. Or not toss it, but get rid of it. So this brush right here is, I'm just, I'm not going in order at all. This is from uh, BH Cosmetics as well. This is the number two brush. I believe this is from a Rose, the Rose Quartz set, if I'm not mistaken. Um, I used this brush once to stipple out my concealer and I actually liked it a lot, so I'm gonna keep this one. This right here is the number four from the BH Cosmetics. I think this is from the Think Pink or Pink Perfection set. I can't really remember the name of it. This one I actually like a lot for um, setting under the eyes and I've tried it for highlighting before and I thought that it worked really nice, so I'm gonna keep this one. So this brush right here is the number three from the Rose Quartz collection, I believe, if I'm not mistaken. There's a couple different ones. So I, one of them's Rose Quartz and one of them's something else. I, I can't really remember, but anyway. This is the number three from that. It's basically a contour brush, like an angled contour brush. I actually have yet to use this one, but I recently got rid of the one that I normally contour with. So I am gonna keep this one and see if I like it. So this one right here, this is actually from the 32 piece BH Cosmetics collection. Um, I actually went ahead before this video and got rid of every one of those out of my collection because I decided that since I like the other collections I have better, that I'm going to actually put those as my NUA brushes because they're still good brushes. I just don't reach for them over my other brushes. Um, and they actually are better than some of the brushes I already have in there. But one of the things that I couldn't let go from the collection is this one. This is the number 34. This is just a stipple brush. This, I, I can't remember who I watched that said this, but basically somebody was saying how they used a stipple brush for their blush because they liked a really nice diffused blush look and that's exactly what I like. So I tried this one time for that and ever since then I've been hooked. This is basically the only thing I use for blush, so this is a definite keep. So this right here is a Real Techniques fan brush. I kind of don't use fan brushes anymore for anything. Um, this is a good fan brush. Every once in a while, I will kind of reach for one and put my highlight on with that, but I have about three or four other brushes in here that I, I prefer over that for highlighting, so I'm actually gonna Go ahead and get rid of this one. This right here is the number one. Um, this is from the, um, I don't remember the name of this one. <laughs> so this is from BH Cosmetics as well, but this is basically like a dome powder brush. I actually really like these kinds of brushes and I do wanna keep this um, because I don't think I actually have other ones that are domed like this. So it's actually a little different in my collection. So I'm gonna keep this one. This is another one from BH Cosmetics from that same set that we were just at. And I pulled out the one that I already decided I was gonna keep, which is from the Think Pink set. And as you can see, these are literally the exact same brush. Um, I do think I'm actually gonna keep this one over this one because this one's just a little bit fatter. Um, it's a little bit, I don't wanna say softer. I don't know, they both feel equally soft. If anything, this one actually probably feels a little softer. This one's just a little bit wider, and if I do use this, um, I, I tend to want the wider ones because then I can actually kind of diffuse what I'm doing a little better. So I'm actually gonna to toss this one out and keep this one. All right, so this right here is from that same set that we've been on for a minute. This is the number four. This is just a like flathead brush. I think this is meant for contouring or something. I actually haven't used this at all. Um, so I think what I'm gonna do is, I think I'm gonna keep it, try to use it, and if I don't use it, I am gonna get rid of this one as well. So far, I'm not really doing good on this. <laughs> so I'm gonna grab these two because these two for sure, I know I'm not keeping. These are both e.l.f. brushes. This is the e.l.f. This is the e.l.f. contouring brush, and this is the e.l.f. highlighting brush. These two brushes I got in a set of stuff for Christmas. It was like a e.l.f. set, and it was like really cheap, and they came with the sets. I don't like this highlighting brush at all. Like, it, it doesn't feel that bad, but when you compare it to just even BH Cosmetics, this is not a super soft brush. Honestly, when I used it, I don't feel that it even really did much for me. So I am getting rid of this for sure. 
Um, same thing with this one. It worked okay, but I, I just find that these like flat head like contour brushes just tend to leave like a streak of contour on my face and they never work the way I hope and they just are a little too a little too harsh on my face so I actually am gonna get rid of this too so this right here is the number one from I believe this is the rose quartz collection and I went ahead and grabbed the other brush that was similar to this I think I'm actually gonna keep both of these though because this is just a tad bit flatter and this is just a tad bit more rounded so because of that I do think that I could use these for different things or you know sometimes it's not bad to have at least two of the same brush or similar brushes. So I'm gonna keep both of these because I did get rid of the other one. All right, so this right here is the contour brush from the Think Pink set. I actually really like this contour brush. However, it's kind of like getting to the point where it's like loose and kind of just not working that well anymore. So I do think that I'm gonna to toss this because I did keep another contour brush. Part of me is debating on keeping this until I know for sure whether I actually like the other brush, but I feel like that's a big theme with me as I keep it just in case. And yeah, I, th I think I'm gonna go ahead and toss this because I, I need a brush that's gonna hold up on me. So this right here was from the 32 piece set. I really love this brush. I think this was my all time favorite contouring brush until I got the Think Pink set one. Um, I like the Think Pink because it was just a tad bit smaller so it didn't, it was a little more precise but it was still fluffy so it wasn't needing to be that precise. However, because I just got rid of that one because I don't need uh, multiple contouring brushes, I am gonna go ahead and put this with the other set and put this in my MUA kit. All right, so I don't know if you can see that but there is a few bristles on this brush that is just poking out. Um, I did wash every single one of my brushes the other day so I'm thinking that maybe that's what's going on here, but they're not pulling out, so they're not loose. So I'm not really sure. I may have to just kind of like trim that or fix that or something, because I don't know what's going on here. But this is the number three from the thing, or from the, nope, this is not, this is the one I can't remember. This is a set that I can't remember. This is the number three for that. I believe I have like three more of these. Yep, yeah, I have one from, I have one from Real Techniques. Oh, it looks like I just have the two. So it does look like I have another one and for whatever reason, this is not holding up as well too. Like, oh, there's, they're finally coming out. But these bristles just seem to be kind of like falling apart on me a little bit. I don't know. The brush itself is holding up. There's no, it, it's sturdy and it, it seems nice. This is a tad bit bigger. And then this one, they both feel about the same. They both feel really nice. I think I'm gonna keep both of these for now. And if I don't use them, I'll either get rid of them or at least one of them or something. So this right here is from uh, Royal and Langnickel. This is the Moda Pro or Moda Pro brush. This is the pointed blush brush. I literally haven't used this since I got it in the BoxyCharm except maybe once or twice just to test it out. And I just honestly, I don't really care for many of the Royal and Langnickel brushes that came in the set, um, the set of three that we got. So I, I think I'm, I'm gonna go ahead and toss this too. The more I look at this Luxie brush, the more I wanna keep it because it's just such a nice brush, but I never, God, I never use it. All right, so this is the crown brush. Uh, I don't remember what month we got this in, but this is another BoxyCharm brush. Um, if anything, this is another one of those like pointed brushes. This feels nice, and I don't actually have a tapered like face brush because I did just throw the Royal and Ling Nickel one out. These are definitely two different brushes. One is definitely smaller than the other. I'm trying to think on whether or not it's worth keeping either or at least just one of them because I, I don't have any other tapered brushes. I don't use these so it's not like they're a staple in my collection either way. I think just to be on the safe side, <laughs> I'm gonna keep one of these but I just can't, 
I don't know which one. I think I'm gonna keep the crown brush and I think I'm gonna get rid of the Royal Ling Nickel because I think when I actually used this one, I actually liked it. And this is also a little bit more um, stiffer. So I feel like that's gonna hold up a little bit more. And I've had this brush longer than this one and I haven't reached for this one at all. And I think I've reached for this one a couple times. So I think I'm gonna keep the crown and I'm gonna toss this. Last but not least, what is on this handle? Is that makeup? I somehow got mascara on this handle. I'm not sure. This is the number four from the Rose Quartz. This is a highlighting brush. I love this little brush for highlights, so this is definitely a keep. It's not a huge difference, but hopefully you can tell. These right now are all the ones that I'm getting rid of. So I got rid of a few that I don't use. The more I look at this Luxie brush though, the more that I wanna keep this. Uh, I wanna keep it. Don't judge me, okay? So <laughs> these for sure are the ones that we're getting rid of. And by getting rid of, I'm either gonna see if my family wants them or I'm gonna see if they can be used in my MUA kit. And obviously they will be rewashed because I've been touching all of these. They will be rewashed and sanitized before they get put in that. But that is the idea for these. So these right here are all of my eye and I guess some cheek. A lot of the bigger small brushes like these two right here that were put in here um, were only because they don't fit in the other one. Like these are definitely face brushes for or whatnot, but I couldn't fit them in with the face brushes so they had to go in here. So hopefully now, if I decide to keep these, they can actually be put where they need to go. So I'm gonna take all these out. Also, if you're wondering what these are, these are literally Yankee candle holders. <laughs> this one I bought um, for a few, it was on sale. So it was like two or $3 when I bought it. And I bought it specifically cause it was gold. Um, this one I actually bought a while back. It was originally silver and I spray painted it white because the silver looked, it was, I actually bought this for a candle and it just did not look good at all. And so because I decided to buy the gold one, I was like, well, my theme is kind of gold and white. So why not just spray paint this white and then go from there. And that's just kind of what happened here. But these are just Yankee candle holders. All right, so this first one I grabbed here, this is the detailer brush. Um, this is a Real Techniques brush. I'm gonna try to hold this up for you guys to see. Hopefully you guys can see that. No, I don't know if you can see that, but basically it's just kind of this like flathead brush. It's very thin, but it has um, like a tapered tail. This is perfect for the inner corner. I love this brush. Literally every time I use, uh, every time I do an inner corner highlight, this is the brush I reach for. I specifically look for this brush. So for sure I'm keeping this one. This brush right here I bought off of Amazon. There was like a set for it and the other brush, I think it was like a set of four. The other brushes I found myself never reaching for but I always found that I reached for this one especially to like blend out like transition colors and, and things like that. So for sure I'm keeping this one too. This right here is the number five. This is from the Rose Quartz collection. I'm pretty sure. Uh, this is just kind of like a dome a small dome brush basically. Um, I think this one and this one right here, I've used both of these. This is the crown brush. This came with that um, tapered brush in the BoxyCharm set. I think there was one more in here, um, which I can go over in a little bit. But for both of these, just to get these out of the way, I'm gonna keep both of these because I do think that I used the crown brush to um, blend out my concealer one time and I actually really like this for that and I think I used this one to set my concealer or to blend it or something and I actually really liked both of these so I'm going to keep these. I'm going to go over these two very very quickly. These two are Real Techniques brushes. These are actually, I use these for face. Um, these are both the exact same brush but as you can see they, they are shaped a little bit differently so I actually use these both for different reasons. They're both setting brushes. This right here is the one that I use to set under my eyes. Obviously I've been experimenting and using different ones and this one I have been using 
to do um, highlights on my face and I actually love this one for highlights although I do have a couple highlighting brushes now sometimes I like to switch it up and go back to this one so I am going to be keeping both of these in for different reasons even though they are literally the exact same brush they just somehow or another got shaped differently this right here is the M Mikasa Beauty um, E220 brush this is just a concealer brush I don't use this at all for concealer. This I use for um, eyeshadows. Uh, basically, all of my lid shadows I use this for. I love this little brush. Um, this was sent to me for free because Mikasa Beauty sent, uh, sent me an email saying that they would give me a discount to try, try their products. Um, I did do that and then on top of that they did send me this concealer brush for free so I did not pay for it but I think when I looked it up it was $18 or $12 something like that it was definitely double di double digits but it wasn't over 20 I'm pretty sure um, they they are a company that I would actually really love to try their brushes just because of how much I love this brush but they are a very expensive from my experience or from my knowledge they're a very expensive brush company so I have yet to actually do that but this brush is definitely one of my holy grails and something just like the detailer brush that I actually specifically look for so I'm keeping this another brush that I really love and actually look for this is the actually the Royal and Lang Nickel Mata Pro set from the BH Cosmetics this is the crease brush I don't actually use this for what it's meant to be used for so this is supposed to be a crease brush I find that every time I try to use this brush for placing down shadows it makes them patchy it does not set well like the crease does not look nice with this however what I have also come to find or come to find is that this is great for blending out colors that are already placed on the eye so this is not something I use the way it's supposed to be used, but it is something that I use quite often, so I am keeping this. So just to get this out of the way, this is my little declumper brush. What is this called? Lash separator. <laughs> I call this my declumper brush. I literally use this all the time. As you guys can tell, if you watch any of my videos, you know I hate clumpy lashes, so this is like my best friend. So I am definitely never getting rid of this. So this right here is a Real Technique shading brush. I actually really like this brush, but I actually use this for a crease um, because I have hooded eyes, so my crease is not very big. And I find that this fits in my crease almost perfectly. I can bring it up a little bit, um, or I can just leave it in the crease depending on how I wanna do my makeup that day. And this, this works perfectly for that, so I'm gonna keep this. This brush right here is from the Think Pink set. This is the BH Cosmetics number no. five brush. I love this to set my eyelids with um, powder, uh, whether it's translucent powder or whatever I'm using. Um, the concealer I place on my eyes, I set with powder, so this is the brush that I use to set it. Sometimes, depending on the day, sometimes I do use this to blend stuff out. However, I use one of my other brushes more. This I specifically use to set my eyelids, and I really love it for that. I have not gotten rid of one of these brushes yet. This is going to take forever. This right here is from the Brow Gal. This was in a boxy charm. This is the, um, does it say? It doesn't say what kind. Of, basically, it's an angled eyebrow, angled brush with a spoolie on the end. This is by far my favorite eyebrow brush. Hands down, it's just perfect. It's so slim that you can get such a precise line with this any single time that every single time that I use a pomade, this is what I reach for. This right here is that other crown brush that I was telling you guys that I had. I do use this a little bit. This is basically just like the Real Techniques one that if I do use it, this is a um, crease brush, not anything else. It doesn't specifically say what it's for, but I do use this for the crease. So because I do use this for the crease, I am going to just go ahead and keep it. All right, let me see here. Let me try to find one that I actually plan to get rid of. I'm gonna grab grab this one right here so this right here is the fine liner brush by real techniques uh, I have a couple of these and I am gonna I'll go ahead and grab the other one I am gonna keep the BH cosmetics one 
for the simple fact of just to be on the safe side, which is the number 12 from the Rose Quartz collection. So I'm gonna keep this, but this Real Techniques one, I never use. This right here is the number five from the set that I don't remember the name on, I believe. Yep, this is the one I don't know. So this is the number five brush. I actually really like this. This is a really good transition shade um, brush or sometimes I use it to blend out the transition and crease color together a little bit so that way they look a little more seamless and not so patchy and drawn out and, and things like that. So I'm keeping this one. So this right here is um, from the Rose Quartz BH Cosmetics. This is the number seven. So this is basically a like angled shader brush. I actually really like this for the outer corner, so I'm keeping that. So this one right here is the number five from the Think Pink or Pink Perfection. I can't remember the name of this one for sure, but basically, uh, I don't really ever reach for this brush, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna go ahead and toss this one. This one right here, this is the number seven from the BH Cosmetics. What was the other one? Oh, six, okay. This is the number seven from the BH Cosmetics Think Pink. This one is perfect for me. I use this one a lot for my crease as well. Um, and sometimes for um, outer corner, it depends on the day and how I feel. But I do like this a lot, um, this brush a lot. It's fluffy, it, it blends, it blends uh, shadows really easy. And it's also really, it's small enough to fit in places that you need it to, especially if you have kind of like small lids like myself. So I really do like this brush. So this right here is the 12, a BH Cosmetics brush from that set that I can't remember. This is just an angled brush. So this actually looks like a very nice like angled brush. It looks pretty like thinned out um, where you can get a precise line. So I am gonna keep this one. This right here, and there's another one in here. I love both of these for different reasons, um, but they're basically similar brushes. So as you can see, I'm trying to show you, sorry. So as you can see, they're basically like kind of smudger brushes, both of these. So I use this one right here, the um, one from the set that I can't remember, basically more as a um, blend out the colors. And this one I use more as a setting the colors down. So I do use both of these equally and I used just both of these yesterday, but I do love them both and I'm gonna keep both of these. So this right here is a smudge brush a precision smudge brush from Real Techniques. I used to use this brush a lot more, but I haven't used it as much. I've used this thing for multiple different things, smudging eyeshadows under the eyes. I've used it to place inner corner highlights um, when the, the detailer brush was either dirty or I wanted to try something different or I wanted a bigger inner corner highlight. I've used this thing for multiple different reasons. I do love this brush. I'm going to keep it because it happens to be a little smaller than the other two um, that I just kept for basically the same reason, but I'm going to keep this for now. But if I don't end up using it as often as I used to, I am going to go ahead and get rid of this one. All right. So this is the number six from the BH Cosmetics uh, Rose Quartz collection. This is basically very similar to the other one I put in um, the the one from the Think Pink, this one right here. Um, again, I I love this brush. This is a really good brush, so I don't mind having multiples of this, so I am gonna keep both of these. This right here, this is a liner brush from that set that I can't remember. <laughs> That's just gonna be the name, the set I can't remember. This is the number 11 from the BH Cosmetics set. This is one of the few, very, very few, just flathead liner brushes that I have found that do not poke or hurt my under eyes. I used this yesterday to place um, a darker color under my lash line and it worked beautifully. So this for sure is a keep. This right here is from the Think Pink uh, collection. This one right here, I don't think I'm gonna keep because it's, it's a little bit too fat. I prefer the ones that are very like thin and, and precise. Um, if it has just a, a tad bit too much hair, it can make the lines just not look as nice if you're doing like eyeliner or if you need to do your eyebrows, it can make your eyebrows look a little fat where you're trying to make them look skinny. So due to that, I'm going to go ahead and toss this one. So this right here is another liner brush uh, or an angled brush. This one is actually fairly fat. Um, 
I don't even know what I would use this for. Uh, so this is the number 11 from the BH Cosmetics Rose Quartz. Um, I have a lot of beef with this one because even though this one is a little bit fatter, this one has so much more width to it than this one does. And I don't, and I don't even like this one because it's just a tad bit too big. I think I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of both of these. All right, so this brush right here, this is a um, number seven from that set I can't remember. <laughs> this is just a kind of like small fluffy brush. I love these types of brushes again. These are, this is a little bit smaller and a little bit more dense than the other one. I don't wanna say dense necessarily, but it's a little bit more stiffer. Um, so because of that, I'm gonna keep this because I'm pretty sure there's other reasons that I could find to use this one. This right here is a very small smudge brush. Um, this is really good for under the eyes too. Um, I've used this one before uh, to help smudge shadows and things under my eyes. I haven't reached for it in a while, but it is such a good brush that I do think I'm gonna go ahead and keep this one as well. This one right here, this is the Real Techniques um, Medium Shadow Brush. I don't really ever reach for this um, brush at all. If I do, it's basically to just set my eyes, which I have my other brush for that, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one. This right here is the number nine from the BH Cosmetics Think Pink set, or Pink Perfection, whatever that one's called. This is a really good little um, liner brush as well. Although I like the other one, I do think I like this one a little bit more. And as you can see, this is a little bit more dome shape. Um, it can get a little bit more precise. It is still kind of a flat brush. So if it's just something that you need to get like really close to your corner to place a shadow or something, I do think that this is a really useful brush. So I'm keeping this one. These two right here, this is the number eight and the number nine. These are basically kind of like shader brushes. I am going to just go ahead and keep these because I do find these pretty useful at times. Although they are not my favorite brushes and not something I reach for all the time, I do tend to reach for these more often, so I am keeping these. All right, so these two right here, um, this number six from the can't remember set, this is the number six right here. This is just a tad bit thinner, um, a little more fluffy at the end. So I'm gonna keep this, because again, these are basically my favorite brushes. However, this one right here, um, the Real Techniques one with the Essential Crease Brush, um, that's basically what I use for all of the other ones. And I have, I have about, what, five or six now at this point. So I do think that finally at this point, I, I can go ahead and get rid of this one. All right, and the last four brushes. So you guys are troopers if you have held on this long. So this right here is the number nine. This is just a flat head brush. Um, I tend to use these for my lid shades um, all the time, basically. I really just use these and spray them and then place them on my eyes like that or sometimes my finger, but a lot of times I use these unless the payoff is not good enough and then I'll use my finger. I, I am gonna keep this one. For this one right here, this is the number eight from the Rose Quartz collection. Um, same one as that first one. This is just a little bit bigger. So I am gonna keep this one and these last two right here. So, this one, this BH Cosmetics number eight, um, this is just another one, once again, a flathead shader brush. <sighs> I think I'm gonna keep these because I, I, I want a couple. Actually, I'm gonna just keep both of these because this ColourPop one, this is supposed to be a concealer brush. They were super nice and sent this to me for free because one of my packages got here late. Um, so they were super nice and sent me this for free as a basically an apology for sending out a late package. So I do really like this. I don't use this for concealer at all. I never use these for concealer. I always use them for lid shades. And the same with this one. I, I do think that I use these enough that having four of these is probably a good idea. So I'm gonna go ahead and keep these as well. I don't think we did that well. <laughs> well, not we, this is all me. I don't think I did that well on the eye sets brushes, but I did get rid of um, a couple. All right, so these are all of the brushes that I'm getting rid of. I didn't do as well as I really honestly thought that I would have, but the more that I went through them, the more that I do realize that I actually did like those. And there's a couple of, of brushes here that I do like, like for instance, this crown brush right here. I do like this brush, but I have brushes I like better, so there's no point in me just holding on to stuff. And like I mentioned in my announcement video, we are in the process of moving. So there's really absolutely no point in me keeping stuff that I'm not going to use. 
I also forgot a brush, so we'll just add that one right there. Sorry, I also have my 32 piece set over here. I'm not including that in this video though. And I'm gonna go through these. Uh, if I decide to put them in my MUA kit, they will be washed, rewashed, and uh, cause they're all clean, cause I, I just washed them, but they will be rewashed and sanitized before they go in that. And then of course, any other ones will go to friends and family. So with that being said, I really appreciate you guys for watching if you did watch this all the way through. And again, if you have been one of the few that have stuck around in my month of absence, I really, really appreciate you. And as always, I hope to see you in the next video. Bye.